Hi, tennis friends. Today we're going to talk about tennis elbow and some experiments that you can do to try to relieve that condition. We want to work with tennis elbow in three phases. The first phase, as if you've ever had tennis elbow, you know that it can be extraordinarily painful. And we want to first work at decreasing the pain, that tissue around the, ex the extensor side of our forearm and around the out outside of the elbow become increasingly sensitive and very, that tissue gets inflamed and is very angry. The tissue, the condition tennis elbow is actually called lateral epicondylitis which is essentially a fancy word for telling where the condition is and um, what's happening there. So we wanna address tennis elbow in three phases. The first phase is to get out of acute pain. So in order to do that, we wanna know what the pain levels are. So it's important to not be taking pain medications in order to assess that. So that's the first step. The second step is going to be increasing flexibility in that area. Um, increasing circulation and blood flow to that area to take out waste products and to bring nutrition and blood, new blood and new nourishment to the area. And the third phase is going to be strengthening that joint and the muscles and tendons of that joint in order to have the capacity um, to do those repetitive movements and to uh, use the uh, overload those joints in the way that we do that isn't really natural in tennis. Okay, so the first step in decreasing pain is to bring some gentle massage and some care to the forearm and the elbow. Like I said, you wanna not be on any kind of pain medication so that you can actually assess the level of pain in your arm. Um, and so you're gonna take some whatever lotion or, or lubricant you like to help glide the um, massage and glide the, um, along the tissues so that it feels really good. So you're just gonna start working from, I like to go in the direction of my heart, and that when you gently massage in here around the area, not stimulating the most painful part, but just bringing new blood flow and nourishment to the area, and this will help to so increase the nourishment and the, the good stuff coming into the joint, increasing circulation, and, and then also helping to um, ex excavate the toxins and all the bad stuff. So you're just assisting the body in its ability to bring more circulation and decrease waste products to the area. I like to go in a circular motion all around, make sure you don't hit the most painful parts and overstimulate the pain response. And then little by little, you're just going to um, notice as your pain decreases, we wanna get the pain level through this gentle mas massage down to about a level three or four out of 10 before we move on to the stretching phase, which is gonna increase the flexibility um, bring back in, bringing back the flexibility and the mobility to that joint, which has probably been protecting itself during your injury. Okay, so once you have your pain levels down to three or four consistently over a period of time, not just like one day, but give yourself like where the, the tissues are starting to feel more comfortable, they're not like angry, angrily sending you pain signals as much anymore, and then you'll kind of know, use your own um, body and how it feels as an indicator and when you should move on to the uh, stretching phase. But before you do that, one of the things that you can add on to the massage is, I usually use a cork lacro uh, lacrosse ball or a cork ball, but I'm just gonna use what I have right here, which is the little jar. So you can use anything and you're gonna, anything that has like a little edge on it or something round, and you're gonna just put some, um, pressure into the extensor part of the forearm, finding like little tender spots. And just pressing pressing into the tender spot and staying there is gonna feel really good and it's gonna gently sort of release those trigger points that are, um, that are like protective mechanisms within the elbow and the forearm in order to keep you safe and to have you not be doing the thing that is causing the injury in the first place. So I usually like to just uh, spend a little time while I'm watching tennis matches on TV or something and just like right there I could just feel where that tissue is just really tight and if I just gently kind of move my wrist around without feeling too much pain but like there's there's something called exquisite pain which is like you know it's good and it's not dangerous okay now that you have your pain under control we're gonna do some stretching so you're gonna take the affected arm, pat up your knees if you need a little bit of extra um, um, care on the knees. Otherwise, you're gonna take the 
affected arm, and you're going to turn your hand gently towards the knee. This is probably going to cause some discomfort right here. So stay here, breathe, and gently start to stretch the outside and the extensors of that affected elbow. When you get to a point where that feels good, you can do a little bend, bending and straightening the elbow until the outside of the extensors start to loosen up and feel good. Then you can move on to um, a gentle squeezing of the fist and straightening the elbow. Release, squeeze, and straighten. So take your time on that and use pain as an indicator. And if you want even a little bit more, um, because you're moving along and things are progressing nicely as we hope, then you can start to turn the elbow out away from your body and gently stretch there. So again, you want to always use pain as an indicator, so make sure you're not on any pain meds when you're doing these um, experiments and let us know how it goes. Okay, now you're out of pain and you started uh, stretching the um, muscles and the tendons around the area to improve flexibility in that area. It's time to start strengthening. So I like to use a towel for this. You can use a bath towel, which is great because then you can get lots of, um, you need lots of material. So I use my left hand, my right hand is the affected arm, and I use this as the driver, and I'm going to roll the towel towards me. So I'm going to pull the towel towards me like that. That's going to engage these muscles here. Take it slow and notice the level of discomfort or ease that you're in as you go along. And then you're going to pull, you're just going to keep rolling the towel towards you. And as the towel gets thicker, it changes the way that the muscles are used and that the tendons are functioning. So you're going to keep pulling the, roll the towel towards you. That's going to engage these muscles. Okay, so try those experiments. Um, take your time, take a long-term mindset. Make sure you're not taking pain meds while you're doing these experiments and let us know how it goes.